Hey everybody, this is Micah Jones with another Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you one of the many ways that I bring my sky detail back using just a single exposure to raw conversions and a few layer masks. Let's get into it. So, first thing you'll notice is in this picture, this is straight out of camera raw. No adjustments have been done to this one. And it is exposed well enough that I have retained all the detail in the shadows and all the details in the highlights, even though it looks like the sky is about to blow out. And it's not yet there. There's a little sliver right beforehand. Now the second one, the virtual copy I made, it's at exposure minus two. And in this one, you can see all the detail from the sky that is in that picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this first one, or we'll open both of them at the same time. We're going to open them into Photoshop. And um, no editing has been done to them at all yet. These are raw. Haven't even bothered to mess with the tones in Lightroom. Okay, so we're going to leave the underexposed picture alone and we're going to come to the, the exposure that's good for the church. We're going to right click on the background layer, click on duplicate layer, and we are going to send it over to our underexposed image. Okay, so now over at the other one, we've got the exposed image on the sky exposed image and let's go ahead and rename these we're going to name the bottom one sky okay so while selected on the church layer we're going to go to our channels and the goal here is to find a channel that gives you the biggest difference and contrast of the church to the sky and already have edited this image I know that the blue channel is the best one for this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click it, we're going to duplicate the channel, and let's activate our copy. And now what we're going to do is we're going to increase the contrast between this church and the sky. So we're going to go up to image, adjustments, levels, we're going to click on our black eyedropper and we're going to sample an area that's not technically black but we wanted to turn black just to make it that big a difference and you'll see automatically we're getting almost kind of a silhouette look which is what we want so let's make sure it gets really really dark darker the better there we go okay then we're going to click on the white eyedropper and we're going to just start clicking through the sky and try to get the sky to turn completely white. And that looks pretty good. So that definitely that gives you a very nice defined silhouette between the church's shape and the sky's shape. So press OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here on the left and click on our quick selection tool and we are going to select the sky and with this channel layer modified like this it makes selecting an area particularly easy um, in some cases it can be a little more difficult but in this case this works out beautifully it's a very nice clean selection right on the edge um, probably modify them. if I was editing this image fully what I would do is I would go ahead and come to select modify expand and I would expand it by probably about two pixels and then I would go back to select modify and I would feather it by one pixel and I do that's kind of a basic idea for how I do a lot of compositing with cutting things out. Um, just something, it looks clean, it's 
about the way things look in real life when you have separation from a subject in the background. So that's kind of what I follow. Sometimes it's different. It just depends on what the picture is and what you're cutting out. So now we've done that, let's go ahead and save the selection so that we don't lose it. Go to Select, Save Selection, and let's just name it Sky. Press OK, and it will make you another channel that is the selection we made, black and white, basically a layer mask kind of thing, but it gives you the ability to easily select it. If I was to deselect it, I can hold control and select this channel, and it will reselect the light areas. So let's keep our selection on. Let's go ahead and reactivate the RGB layer. Let's go back to our layers. Okay, so now that we're back to our layers, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the right side of Photoshop, click on our layer mask icon, and it creates a mask in the shape of our selection. But, as you can see, it didn't mask out the sky for our underlying image, it masked out the church. So, a simple way to fix that is to just make sure you select the layer mask and hit Control i and it inverse layer mask and reveals the sky beneath. And if we look a little closer, now that that is done, you will see that our selection was quite clean, right on the edge. Now you can see a little green because I didn't correct the chromatic aberrations, but that is a pretty darn good layer mask for not taking too much time. It worked out pretty good. Yep, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, so let me group those together. Actually, first let's go back to the original. I'm going to duplicate this layer back over there again. Oops, what did I do? Oh, no, sorry. Let's duplicate it to the actual document. And let's put it down. Okay, let's group these together. So in just a few minutes, with not a whole lot of effort, we went from the original, with the sky almost blown out, not much detail there, to full detail in the sky, nice blue clouds, and almost an HDR look without the HDR processing. And if you look at that, it's before, after, before, and after. Alrighty, so that is one of the many ways that I bring detail back into my skies. I hope this video helps you guys out and gives you the ability to make lots of epic pictures with highly detailed skies. And uh, definitely subscribe to the channel to keep up with the videos I put out. And uh, leave me a comment, like, uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the future or what you didn't like. And uh, I will see you guys next time.